Would you like to know what hiring managers look for when we hire a security architect? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with experience as a network architect, a security architect, and other architectural roles for the last 25 years. And I've interviewed over 6,000 people, mostly for cloud architect, security architect, network architect, and enterprise architect roles. And I can tell you exactly what we look for when we hire, say, a security architect or an enterprise architect. And I can tell you exactly what that security architect has to show us in the interview for us to be able to hire that person. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. What you need to actually show the hiring manager on a security architect interview. So let's talk about the first few things that we need to look at. The first thing I look for, and many, many other hiring managers look for when they hire a security architect or a cloud security architect is, can I put this person in front of my client's executive team? And that means, can I put you in front of the CEO, the CFO, the CIO, the CISO, and potentially the board of directors? And if the answer is, I can't put that person in front of the board of directors, I simply can't hire the person. And here's the reason why. My security architects need to be able to clearly convey to our security leaders uh, how, what the risks are and how to manage those risks. And they have to do it as a peer to the CEO or the CIO or the CISO as a strategic advisor. So I need to know that I can put that security architect in front of the C-suite and that they have what it takes in them to be able to exercise influence, influence strategic decisions on the part of that organization, help that organization manage risk, prioritize risks, and sell it to the board, including when it means making sure there's money to pay for the security architecture. So that's one of the first things that I look for, and I'm not alone. Computer Weekly also had a study that talked about how the criticality on the security architect to be able to understand risk, and whether it be risk to the business, risk to the brand, be able to speak, fluently in business terms. Now, the next one is about influence and strategic thinking. And it's actually Fortinet did a study here. And while in many cases, we typically think of hard skills for tech jobs, hard skills for the security architect are things like risk management, understanding how to design security, but not things like an engineer, like learning how to write a Python script or configure, say, a firewall rule. In the world of architecture, which we architect, man, architect hiring managers need to see, we need to see analytical skills and communication skills and interpersonal skills, because that's the biggest need for our job as architects, is to somehow look at the organization's risk and be able to guide that organization to reduce that risk in some way, shape, or form. And it's not just Fortinet who saw it, a tripwire, tripwire dimensional research study so that 72% of uh, people that were responding needed to see uh, soft skills to be able to hire the person in the first place. And what we're talking about, and, and this has grown significantly in the last two years. So top soft skills which people are looking for are analytical thinking, excellent communication skills, uh, strong integrity, the ability to directly support influence, communication, and trust. Campus Technology did a study on that as well. So what you're looking at is all the needs to see that you are an executive. What's the first one? Can I put you in front of the board? What was the second one? Can you influence the board, potentially influence other key stakeholders? Can you think strategically? Now, the third thing you need to show in a security architect interview, especially due to a Fortinet a meta-analysis that looked at hard skills across a wide variety of studies where they looked at architects, is we need to see the strategic side of you, that you're not focusing on how-to. You are focusing on the big picture things, risk management, or understanding, say, a security standard versus understanding how to configure Linux. Because that employer needs to know that that security architect possesses a pit, an understanding of the entire 
picture and the impact of one change on the system to another change. So what we need to see is while we're talking about soft skills that you understand risk and you can evaluate trade-offs and you understand the business. So that means you've got option A, option B. What are the strengths of option A? What are the strengths of option B? And how will that, that apply going back to the business? So that's another study showing the same thing that evaluation of trade-offs is going to be there. Now, the next thing is the ability to truly see, understand the entire security program, and the entire, all of it, in order to reduce risks. And, uh, you know, we're seeing this, uh, organizations have to be able to manage risk according to their risk to tolerance. So you need to be able to demonstrate on these interviews that you know how to protect critical assets, that you know how to mitigate risk, that you know how to ensure the organization's compliance needs and how they, and business continuity plans, for example, how to reduce cost, how to enable growth. And you can see this, uh, Future Processing did a study which actually showed this, but that's what people are looking for. I, the ISC, ACA also looked at organizations who stressed something fairly similar. So this is what we're looking for as employers, the ability to know that you can see the big picture. And of course, you know, energy and enthusiasm, and it sounds, goes without saying, but Pete, we are looking for energy and enthusiasm and we don't often find it. So uh, when you look for these types of things, energy, enthusiasm, and passion, and the person still has high degree of interpersonal skills, communication skills, leadership, collaboration, mentoring. Now you're barely showing the employer that you have what they want, which means you're going to have to show confidence and poise and, that, and an excitement around you being there to help organizations be reduce risk and be more successful. So it all goes back to the same thing, what we need to see on a security architect interview is, can I put you in front of the customer? Can I put you in front of the C-suite? Can I put you in front of the board? Can you exercise influence? Can you think strategically? Do you understand the various trade-offs, now knowing there's not a single solution, but multiple options, and you can recommend the best option for that organization? Can you see the entirety of the security organization and do you know what it takes to do so? And do you have that energy, enthusiasm, charm, charisma, all of that to be hired? And that's what we're looking for on a security architect interview or a cloud security architect interview. Demonstrate these things, show us what you've got it, and you are much more likely to be hired. Now, if you'd like to become a security architect or an enterprise architect or an AI architect or a cloud architect, we run a free architecture webinar twice per week where we'll go over the various architectural roles, talk about the exact skills you need to get hired, and talk about all the steps to getting hired. And it's completely free. You can join me for any of the architecture webinars like the Security Arc webinar in, uh, by signing up on the description of this video. We'll go over the roles, all the skills, how to get ahead. And you can ask me questions live and free on Zoom. So sign up. The link is in the description of this video. While you're in the description of this video, we have free guides on, say, how to win the interview, uh, how to become, say, a cloud architect, or how to become an AI architect, and many other things to assist you in your architecture career. Go sign up for some. They're all free, and they'll be sent to you. If you've enjoyed this video on how, on security architect interview tips and how to win the security architect interview and what to show the hiring manager on the security architect interview, uh, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your architecture career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in another video real soon.